Hey, hey everybody. Big Mike on the mic. Even windier than last week. So, I was going to do a video here today on, you know, uh, fitness levels and some of the indicators you can look at, but I think I might turn this into part two of how to draft on a windy day, even windier than last week. I'm actually kind of in the second So, I'm going to wait for the group here and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. We'll see actually how many people are out here. On a windy day like this, if you're fairly uh, new to riding and group riding, I would say do not come out on a windy day. I'm actually thinking about, I was actually thinking about turning around myself, but I made it this far. All right, let's start the music. My goodness. So what you just saw there in slow-mo was the wind blowing all of us over at the same time and putting us in a perfect echelon formation. So in order for the wind to have done that, it had to have been blowing really fast from our left shoulder to the right. And when it did that, I was like, that was cool. It put us in this great echelon and we're going to ride like a bunch of pros on the Tour of Flanders on a windy day with the big flags of Flanders flying. But that's not what happened. So I'm speeding up the motion here um, just on the descent. And really, this was the hardest, probably most terrifying ride I've ever done. And, then I, and as I called it earlier while I was waiting for the group to come, she probably should not have been out riding on a day like today. Look at what the wind is doing to us. I'm not riding close to the center lane on purpose. I'm riding there because I'm afraid I'm going to die. <laughs> and I don't want to take anybody with me. <laughs> so I'm laughing, but I'm not really. But I am, but I'm not. So you'll notice that a uh, couple three guys, um, well, maybe, maybe I didn't put it in the video, but a couple three guys were up the road, John Janik, this kid on the white bike with the Lux and uh, the cool USA colors on I don't know some of these guys I don't know but everybody that was out there riding today at least with me was quite competent uh, on the bike um, and it's really a testament to some riding skill that uh, nobody crashed so I'm kind of doing speed up slow down speed up slow down in an attempt to point out some of the wind so last week I had a nice uh, primer on how to draft in a small group. I would consider this to be a small group. And on a less windier day, I have no doubt we would have worked together um, well. But if you notice what's going on there, there's just no synchronicity. There's no organization amongst us. The wind is swirling, although it's primarily off of our right shoulder. So we are um, at least rotating in the proper direction, but we just don't have any order. And the reason we don't have any order is because it's just too, you know what, windy. Um, and, you know, as a result, we end up um, sticking together, then breaking up in smaller. Look at the wind. Look, look at the lean we got to put in there. So as a result of the much windier day than we had last week, Probably this is the windiest I've ridden in the canyon itself. And I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, as a result of that wind, we were, you know, blown apart. And then we came back together and then we got into little groups again. We picked up one or we pick, I think we pick up John Janik a little bit later. Um, he was up, up on the, up in the lead there with, I think, Eddie Huntsman and one other, maybe one other guy that we may have already picked up. Got Dylan there, we got Charlie, we got Ricky is still with us, we got Paul, and one or two guys that I don't know. There's also a guy sitting on, 
I tell you, um, um, I got the learning curve going on here with the cameras, and sometimes I don't turn one or the other camera on, or I miss both. Here I had my front camera going, but I did not have my rear camera running. This is the $30 camera, by the way. Check out my link below. <laughs> uh, but we're, you know, we're we're trying to organize, but given how windy it was, there's just no way to organize. And you'll see here, there's actually, we had broken into a little two little groups here now, or maybe three, and there's one guy behind me. We're just not rotating well. I'm like, okay, I've got to close this gap. So here I go, going up there to close the gap with the two or three guys that are in front. And I'm, you know, I'm doing a, a decent enough job of closing the gap. But then Charlie comes flying around me, and I start cursing him. And there's the guy that was on my wheel, also going, going on his wheel. This is where you want to work together. But you know what? I'm not faulting anybody today for, for not um, following, you know, perfect cycling etiquette in terms of um, closing gaps and working together because it, it basically was impossible to do. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I do see John Janik there, so we eventually did uh, catch him. And I think Eddie and maybe one other guy stayed uh, up the road with, I think Eddie was riding with his dad, who um, is on a little moped type of uh, type of doohickey. There's my doohickey word. Eh, had to get the doohickey word in. So here, here's an example. We're coming up here close to Silverado. The wind is just howling. It's just all over the place. I'm sucking wheel here. Um, no, sitting on. Um, and we're, it's just, you know, if you, if you go back and rewatch this and watch the speed and the power and, and cadence and whatnot, you'll just see the power numbers are just all over the place. At one, one minute I'm at zero watts, the next one minute I'm at 500 watts. And here is an example of the wind just wreaking havoc with us. And we're not riding in the, in the center of the road on purpose. I mean, seriously, we're not. I'm just like, this is just, this is just nuts. So, so yeah, we are a bunch of freaking idiots out there on the windiest day I can remember in the canyon or in a long, long time. But we are alive. So, you know, why do people surf 60 foot waves? Why do they climb Mount Everest? <clears throat> why do they, why do people do what we do? Well, you know what? Some of us like, being alive. So everybody that was out there today, we were alive. We were so alive. We had death grips on our drop bars every, pretty much the entire canyon. My arms will probably be sore tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm getting towards the end here of really what I want to say about today's ride, other than I'm just kind of laughing at our folly in a sense. But at the same time, it's one of those epic days out on the bike. And I'm glad to have shared it with the caliber of guys that are out there. Um, I don't know how Charlie made it through the ride because he has a gargantuan, enormous beard, which must have been at a 90 degree angle in the wind. I'm surprised he, he, he finished the ride with his beard still attached to his face. That's how windy it was. And these littler guys, man, <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I was, I was, it was a struggle. Look at my Watts here. 650 watts to stay with these bad mofos on the windiest day on Como ever. All right, that's about all I have to say on this ride. A little bit of uh, fun banter here to follow. Ricky there hanging out at the men's room too, but he's too busy social media in a way. And I know what he's doing. He's looking for an exit to the Great Park. Part of that, but I'm also <laughs> texting my wife. Oh, hey, that's always good to do. Tell her you're hanging out at the men's room with two cyclists in Lycra. All right, you're gonna buy a Como Street kit, right? Yeah. Right. Ricky too. Maybe. I'm making him in my million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I. <sighs> so that that ride was not the hardest ride I've ever done, but if you combine how hard it was with being legitimately afraid of crashing and legitimately afraid of other guys crashing on a very windy day. That one, that, that, those two categories combined would, that, <laughs> that would, uh, that's what today's ride was. Anyways, if you like my videos, uh, click the subscribe button and, uh, yeah, we'll see you out there. Wait. 
Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Check it out. You gotta reward yourself after a hard ride. Oh. Am I gonna eat them all by myself? Nah. <laughs>